some shopping. News Channel Lines Madison Moore looks into what this change means for local tourism and for one Canadian grad student at SU right now. Moving to a new country in the middle of a pandemic was a decision Charlie Marshall had to make for his education. I thought I had the best facilities and the best opportunities, so I decided to come here. But it's come with its challenges. It's been strange, but it's getting back to normal, so that's nice. Marshall's student visa got him in and out of Canada a few times, but his family has had to jump through hoops to come to Syracuse. Yeah, it's a lot easier, especially if he was coming to, to Buffalo or Syracuse or something like that, than just drive over rather than get on a plane for a couple hours and drive around from there. Now fully vaccinated non-U.S. citizens can drive in and out of the country for non-essential travel, a convenience Marshall's family is looking forward to taking advantage of. Yeah, I think they'll probably come for a basketball game. I know a bunch of my buddies from back home want to come up for a basketball game too, so it'll be fun to have them here and see Syracuse a bit and be in a different country for the first time in a few years for them. And that excitement isn't just felt by loved ones, but by businesses as well. During a normal year here at Destiny USA, 22% of their visitors come from Canada and they're ready to welcome them back with open arms. We've been hearing that their Canadians are they're itching and they're ready to get back on the bus and come back down and spend days and money and we're saying come on bring it on. A source of revenue so many businesses have been missing and the mall isn't waiting to dish out the deals. I mean, we have a lot of great deals and incentives, not just with the Welcome Center and the uh, the hotel, the Embassy Suites by Hilton. We have a lot of our tenants throughout the you know center that are offering different discounts and deals. Welcoming back our Canadian friends right on time for some holiday shopping. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Now, proof of vaccination is required for all travelers 18 or older at land borders. And for air travel, a negative COVID test is also required within three days. Learning about the incentives Destiny USA is offering, head over to localsyr.com.